since couple of days farmer protests are going on and what is the one thing common about all these protests which is msp and minimum support price hello friends welcome to the economy primer series of drishti is i am ritu and today's session is about minimum support price and why farmers are wanting that there should be a law to guarantee minimum support price so moving towards the points of discussion part first of all we are going to discuss why this topic is into the discussion we already know that why this topic is into the discussion and then introduction part and also calculation of the msp that how msp is calculated and benefits of the msp what are the challenges ahead of msp and why government is unable to bring a law on msp and then practice question for prelims so moving towards the introduction part so we already know that why this topic is into discussion because farmer protests are going on and today is the day when there is a call for bharat band because they want there should be a guarantee for msp and they also want that there should be the follow up of the recommendation of the swaminathan committee so that farmers can get their loan waivers and also credit facilities and also so many facilities which are required for the farming system of this country so moving towards the introduction part so what is msp so in lay person's language the msp is a what you can say minimum rate at which rate the government purchase the crops from the farmers and why they purchase crops from the farmers when there is a situation of distress or any calamity through which the uh, farmers could not sell their uh, product to the market so in that situation the government assure to the farmers that at this price they will purchase your crops so this is a brief definition of the minimum support price moving to that uh, what it does so it ensure remunerative prices to the farmers of their produce and it also prevents farmers from their market fluctuation and market volatility kind of situation and who determine msp in the country so there is a commission for agricultural cost and prices it also works along with the ministry of agriculture so they determine the msp and what are the variables to determine msp so we have this cost of production demand and supply dynamics market trends and price parity so on these variables the cacp decides that what will be the msp for a particular crop so this is a brief definition about the minimum support price moving to the next slide next slide is about how is the msp calculated so uh, msp is calculated in which there is a calculation of both thing which means that what the implicit cost farmers has included in that particular crop and also the explicit cost so uh, whatever the determinants of the msp we decide that implicit cost should also be covered under the msp so we have three factors which is on on that basis msp is calculated the first factor is a2 fl and c2 and what a2 consists so at consist expenses incurred by farmers for purchasing chemicals fertilizers seeds hiring labor of for crop growth production and maintenance and what is a2 plus fl so it includes the uh, actual cost along with the implicit cost and what is implicit cost the uh, uh, labor of the family and the rate paid by the farmer so these are the implicit cost so actual cost along with the implicit cost that consists a2 plus fl and then we have this c2 and c2 includes a2 plus fl along with the fixed capital assets and rent paid by the farmers so this is the c2 additionally cacp also has several other factors and on the basis of that they determine msp and what other factors we have cost of cultivation per hectare crop cost in other regions in comparison like we have cost of cultivation per hectare differs from the punjab haryana has a different bihar has a different uttar pradesh has a different so they decide msp on the basis of that cost of production per quintal and regional variation it also varies from region to region market prices of concerned crops and any other fluctuation why there is a fluctuation what are the circumstances is there any future requirement for these kind of the crops so these are the factors which can be 
calculated by the CACP to determine MSP and on the basis of all these factors MSP is determined. So, moving to the another slide. Another slide is about the benefits of the MSP. So, the first benefit is the income security as we already had discussed that MSP provides and it ensures remunerative prices of the product of the farmers. So, it ensures a stable and predictable income. The second factor is price stability. So, it decides a floor price and minimum rate for a particular crop. So, it gives a stability and also it is stabilizes market prices and preventing slab fluctuation. So, if there will be that you already had decided the market prices, so there are less chances for the slab fluctuation than boost production. So, MSP serves as an incentive for the farmers to raise production of crops covered under the MSP regime. So, if farmers are guaranteed that uh, if they will get this kind of remuneration for their particular product, then they have this another kind of boost that they are willing to produce such kind of the crop. So, in that way it boosts production and also food security. So, uh, MSP provides uh, uh, like it covers different kind of uh, crops and uh, it also boosts and gives confidence to the farmers that you can produce such kind of the crops. And if the farmers are producing the crops which are covered under the MSP, in that way there is a constant demand and supply in the market which prevents us from the food insecurity and it balances out the food security not just in the country but also in the whole world. So, these are the benefits we have for the MSP. Moving to the another one which is challenges. So, what are the challenges we have in front of the government and why government is not willing to? implement MSP or uh, they already had implemented MSP but why there is no law for the MSP. First of all we need to know that why farmers are demanding a law on MSP because many times what we have seen that the uh, MSP covered some particular crops but the crops which are not covered under the MSP. So, what happened to them that if there is a situation of market fluctuation or any kind of distress in that situation, the farmers had to sell their products in a very low price and they could not get their return and that affects their entire uh, agriculture system of the country and many times we have seen that the marginal farmers are the most victim of such kind of the problem. So, because of that, they want a law that government should ensure MSP. So, these are the reasons that farmers want that there should be MSP and particular law for the MSP and they want a guarantee on MSP. Coming to the government's uh, thing that what are the arguments government have and what are the challenges the country is facing and because of that challenges the country is unable to implement a law on the MSP. So, the first challenge is that export question feasibility of expanding MSP system. So, exports already says that the government has already procured a lot of crops than its essential time and in that situation it is very difficult for a government to procure another crops or more amount of crops. So, that creates a situation where the government cannot guarantee a law on MSP. On the other hand, export called for diverse strategy in agriculture sector amid caution over MSP. So, export says that a guarantee over MSP is a good idea, but we need prolonged strategy and multi facets uh, strategy to bring agriculture system in a stable way. So, they are asking that a uh, guarantee on MSP is another good idea, but we need to work on uh, other ideas because MSP also has unintended consequences and if we will bring law without analyzing, then it will also lead to us in danger and also the Arjun Munda recently said after a meeting with farmers that law on MSP cannot bring now because uh, we need proper data, we need proper analysis and that takes time. So, we cannot say that it can come soon. So, these are the arguments given by the government of India. Moving to the another challenges that what another challenges they have. So, arbitrary MSP hike sparks concern among uh, agriculture pricing debate. So, India's procurement uh, of more than 60 million tons of rice and around 40 million tons of wheat over the past three marketing season exceeds the annual uh, requirement of 55 to 60 million. 
so it already is exceeding and they are already uh, utilizing this thing into the public distributing system and if they will procure more amount of this crop then there is also a problem of storage facility in our country and that will not create an good economic system for agriculture so um, if we will guarantee law on msp and if we will promise uh, that there should be msp for all the crops the government might face another kind of the problems and that will another take to another uh, field of debacle and maybe it can harm farmers in another way so these are the problems and also the government is also saying that they had hiked the msp of wheat from rupees 150 to rupees 2275 per quintal and also they have increased the prices of msp for 25 to 30 percent higher than the msp so they are already doing into this direction so they cannot guarantee that you know more msp and uh, more amount of msp is required because that can also lead to a economic crisis and fiscal deficit in agriculture system and india as you already know that india is agriculture based country so in this situation it's very important to have a key eye on the agriculture on the other hand the farmers are saying that okay these uh, msp uh, hikes and are very good with the wheat and rice but what about the other products and if you will not guarantee msp for other products then there will be the shortage of other products and farmers will be less enthusiastic about the products which are not covered under the MSP. So, these are the debates and concerns related to the MSP and implementation of law on the MSP. So, moving to the another one. So, this is the practice question of problems and in the context of minimum support price, consider the following statement and the first statement is it ensures remunerative prices to farmers for their produce. And the second statement is the MSP is determined based on the recommendation of the Commission for Agriculture Cost and Prices. And here are your options. So, I hope you are able to answer this in the comment section. If you have any queries related to the session, kindly ask in the comment section and keep reading. Thank you. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.